let's get to painting we're going to be adding a pop of color to this room that was so heavy but we're gonna be adding color to this room because it's getting i'm at the hospital kind of vibes it's giving i'm in a waiting room and it's just getting too bright i am going to get blinded in this room i'm being a little bit dramatic but that's dramatic is my name you know the other situation is i am going to be adding a color i'm not going to be spoiling it yet but there is no windows in this room so if i paint it all solid all around it's just going to be giving pretty much the press kind of vibes so i am going to be doing that accent wool and for those who haven't gotten the memo we are doing a little mini office makeover i do have my office in the corner of my room but my desk is small it wobbles and i just it was just time for an upgrade the other thing is for the accent wall i am gonna need to open up one item because this is my layout i already have this whole vision in my head so i'm really hoping it turns out the way i picture it in my head because if not i'm gonna just be sad so i want there to be um even amount of space from over here <laughs> i don't even know how to describe it from over here to that dent that is sticking out to the corner of right there right and then I'm gonna put a lamp in that corner. So I just want the accent wall to be a square and taller than the lamp. So we are gonna need to open up the lamp. The first item of this little office makeover, as I said, we need to open the lamp. Also, a little talk about my desk. I got this desk from Target on sale and it was pretty cheap. I got it for $170. And a little situation happened, <laughs> let me start opening the package, but a little situation happened where I was waiting for the package. It said it was gonna arrive Thursday, it didn't arrive. And by the time I called Amazon, I mean Target, it was Sunday. I spoke to customer service and she's like, you know what, you were supposed to receive this package Thursday, so I'm gonna send you another one. But if you get the other desk, just keep it. And I'm like, Target got money like that, cause keep it? You don't gotta tell me twice. In other words, I got two desks. But, ah, I see the lamp, I'm so excited. I haven't even told you guys my theme. My theme is like oak, wood, and black. So I got this floor lamp. It was pretty cheap. I think I wasted $28 on this. I forgot I got gold. <laughs> okay, I lied. My theme is oak black and accents of gold i feel like i should have went with black i'm regretting it okay build this bad boy i just have to make sure that these are tightened because for some reason when i was screwing them on the one on top would get loose i don't know why but just to secure it and if it's perfect last step would be the light bulb and i'm thankful that i read the reviews because everybody was like oh my god i love how it comes with a light bulb but i wish i would have read that before because i literally bought a light bulb before purchasing it because they thought it came with a light bulb but it comes with a light bulb but i'm just seeing right now that maybe i should have ordered one because i don't like that it's a little bit it's a little tiny thing Vanessa because I am a perfectionist I am gonna grab a metro and even out of the space because again it's the perfectionist in me so I got 23 no 24 inches of space here and then right here to the molding 26 so you see paint i wanted something not boring but it's also like i'm bandwagoning because it's a popular color that's in right now i wanted to go for like neutrals but i'm like nude is too like boring so i went with green but i got this bare matte conifer green and then i got light sage from this brand which i don't know what brand this is i just literally ordered it from home depot and the thing also is i don't know right now if i'm gonna do like a solid block with the bare matte one or try to do like a lime wash technique with regular paints because lime wash paints is normally diluted with water but since i couldn't find the lime wash paints i well i did i just didn't want to be patient and wait for two weeks for it to arrive so i'm like let's use paint I don't know which one to go for. 
let's just do a little bit of toasting. I'm so excited. I mean, it's not obvious, right? Oh, she dark. But she cute. I'm really having a dilemma and it sucks that you guys can't tell me right now because if I choose the wrong color and then you guys are screaming at me like, no, you should went with the light one or no, you should went with the darker one. I don't know what to do. Ah, the dye. I don't even want to line wash it anymore because I feel like I'm gonna fail at it. Or should I try line washing it? <laughs> ah, I'm having a dilemma, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the lamp in here because it's gonna be annoying me. So let's move it. First cut done, and I'm glad I went with this color. Oh, I already got paint on my hand. I really thought I could have went throughout this whole video without getting paint on me, but apparently not. But I'm glad I chose this color because the other one kind of scared me because it did look a little bit too dark. Okay, I did my first cut. I am gonna cut again right now. Hopefully, the paint didn't bleed over. painted my wall and i love it i also am painting with a paintbrush so if you're over there screaming why are you painting with a paintbrush it could have been sometimes faster with a roller it's because i was gonna do the line wash method but i went the safest route because you know i'm a chicken but i'm only having one issue and that issue is the fact that my walls are textured so i have to make sure i get like in the crevices of everything because like if you can tell right there there's white right there but i'll go and fix it with the second coat but again, don't look at the paint job because it's actually horrendous. Now for the second item of this reveal is... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I bought a paint roller because I was hella struggling with the paintbrush. And I noticed it's leaving my wall streaky. So I simply just went to a 99 cent store and got this $3 roller. Exhibit A, streaks. Exhibit B, streaks. Exhibit C. It's just everywhere to be honest. While that dries now, we're gonna unbox the things that I got! Okay. The feeling of a new desk is always so amazing and I always love that chemical-y smell even though I don't think that's healthy for you, but I just do. First thing I got, well, second thing besides the lamp, or third besides the desk, I got a mat. I wanted to get a black one so it could color match. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like I should just want a black. To be honest, I was gonna be like, I could use the underside. I mean, I really could. Then I ended up getting this acrylic book stand. It's pretty big, to be honest. Like, your girl don't got that many books. She don't read so much. She just started, so you know, she's trying to get a little bit knowledgeable. But we got this so far. This was so unnecessary, but necessary. Okay, so I was really contemplating, do you need an alarm clock? Well, it's not even an alarm clock. It's just well, it could be an alarm clock, but it's a, it's just a clock, a regular clock. That you um you had because I'm always checking my phone instead of checking the time on the computer, even though I'm using it. I always prefer to look at my phone for the time. So instead of grabbing my phone, because I do get distracted and go on TikTok, talk, I'm like might as well just look at the clock. You know, makes sense. It does make sense. I also ended up getting these are the acrylic fins for the drawers of the desk. I wanted to get organized put my camera gear in one side of the drawers but that is another thing I did get I think I'll do like the unboxing in a bit I'm just explaining to you guys my thinking process oh yes I got an acrylic stand so my mag could sit higher I also do want to upgrade my whole setup in the future it's just the fact that i'm not that knowledgeable on desktop and all that so i really want to sit down and see what is better and what isn't same thing with the keyboard i wanted to buy a keyboard but i'm like i don't even know what this means like the silverware the this and that not me talking about spoons and it's heavy can you guess what i got just by seeing this a wall grid so i got this wall grid i don't know yet how i'm gonna do it in this side or this side but i think like right next to it we'll see right now when that plays out and then i also got this notebook it's a neutral color it looks pink in camera but it's literally a uh, brown it, it matches the desk so now let's pop my desk together and see how it turns out I'm doing this 
nobody lifting so you won't be able to see the cable hanging i also just noticed i have a cable mouse should probably upgrade to a bluetooth one but i don't know i swear the razor mouse is so good but it's just i'm trying to minimize all the cables and somehow manage to organize the cables in the bag but i just hate this black bulky one These are the books I'm going to have on display. I'm going for like, you know, the aesthetic vibe. So I'm going to have the Atomic Habits because it's neutral. 101 essays that will change the way you think. And this Milk and Honey book, you know, just the basic. And then the journaling book I'm going to have. So this looks like the combo. Something like that. I'm going to have to fill this up because... That's embarrassing. I mean, I do have uh, reading books. It's just that they're not aesthetically pleasing. They are bright colors and I just rather put those away and not have them for display. This is just like display purposes. And it's a moment of truth. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I bled. No, Gabby! Gabby! I kind of had an idea. It's because my walls are textured. Okay, it's coming off. It's not too bad. It did blend a little tiny bit, but when I'm saying a little, it's a little tiny bit. Oh my god, I was holding my breath so bad. But we did it. I'm proud of myself. If I'm not wrong, I got something else and I can't think what I ordered. Oh, <laughs> I got a headphone holder so you can put your headphones there. Good morning. It's the following day and I did some advancing by putting the wall grid and putting the picture frame. And then there's this blank area. So for the blank area, I want art pieces. But with art pieces, you should definitely take your time looking for the right one and the vibe that is going to fit in the room. So that's exactly what I want to do. And another thing I want to do is, is it like stucco art i want to do one of those so stay tuned for that and for the wall grid i actually made a hole so i put that pole work to cover the hole because um i don't know i guess it was hollow the area i was trying to put the nails and it just went through so there's a hole in my wall now i am gonna put some compound but for the meantime we're gonna pretend it's not there because me a perfectionist it is bothering me like 99.9% .9 of the time because i know it's there so let's just cover the problem and let, let it be let it be but now it's time for the organizing the drawers part i am super excited for this if i'm not wrong this was like 20 bucks but i didn't notice how shallow the drawers would be so i just hope they fit Oh my god, they're so cute. They fit like a glove. Just to give you guys the whole breakdown of what sizes of containers there are, it's these three sizes. So a long one, a medium one, and then a little cubicle one. What the heck? I can't take the larger ones out. And I like you guys, it's four sizes. They're literally stuck together and it's making me break or sweat. Oh, it's a, I start hyperventilating. <laughs> this is pissing me off. Oh, I didn't win it. Finally. Oh my god, that pissed me off. God, it would have been perfect if they all were able to fit for the left drawer i am gonna go ahead and put all my camera equipment here which isn't much i do want to upgrade on my camera equipment but she's a little pricey and it's not even that i am the type of person that has to read 1 million reviews before I order a camera because I am so picky. Like there is some cameras I've been watching, but then their stabilization is horrible. Then there's some cameras that are good, but the focusing isn't good. So it's like each camera has its flaw. But first thing we're gonna organize is my camera. I'm gonna put my cameras right here. This is the plan, cameras, batteries. 
I am gonna switch out one of these long ones for two small ones so I could put my SD cards here, batteries, microphones, wireless chargers, and AirPods. I guess the AirPods I could just throw in here. I could put my tripods right here. If it it's like a glove, my charger. Drawer one, organized. Okay, now for drawer number two. It's just gonna be like the, not the junk drawer, but where I put my pens. So for that, I'm gonna use these long ones. I have these Sharpies highlighters that I use when I read and when I highlight things in my pen. Sharpies to go in here. These pens could go here. And then I have my iPad pen. So, by the way, if you're trying to find a pen that is compatible with your iPad that is affordable, even though it's still kind of pricey, it's like 60, 70 bucks, I use the Logitech one and it's so good. I have a lot left over, but it comes with this much. But I am going to be using this for my makeup drawer, so it's not going to waste. I'm still going to be using these to organize all my makeup. Now it's time for the photo grid basket. The only thing I didn't like, well, I mean, it, it's cheap, so I can't even complain. The photo grids come separately without the baskets, so you have to buy the baskets individually, which kind of sucks because I would have thought they came together. But again, I, as I said, I read reviews one million times. So I saw that everybody was saying that, oh, it doesn't come with it. And then I saw the questions and they were asking, oh, does it come with the basket? And they clarified and said, no, it doesn't. You have to buy them separately. No, I don't like how it looks right there i can't even do it higher if you guys want to see my whole a little sneak peek you know a little reveal ah, i hate it i hate it let's just act like it's not there but i wanted the baskets to put these cactuses or succulents well they're succulents not cactuses i think succulents and cactus can be called the same i mean they're the same family but either way i have these plants and these are the only ones i swear i did not kill besides my snake plant those are the only plants i could keep alive so we're just gonna put them here to add some color <laughs> i'm just so excited 